Happy Friday, everyone. I want to share with you a poem. The author is unknown, but I want you to think about the power of one. One song can spark a moment. One flower can wake the dream. One tree can start a forest. One bird can herald spring. One smile begins a friendship. One hand clasp lifts a soul. One star can guide a ship at sea. One word can frame the goal. One vote can change a nation. One sunbeam lights a room. One candle wipes out darkness. One laugh will conquer gloom. One step must start each journey. One word must start each prayer. Our hope will raise our spirits. One touch can show you care. One voice can speak with wisdom. One heart can know what's true. One life can make a difference, and that life can be you. You know, as we get ready to celebrate Christmas, I want you to think about one. And not only can you make a difference this Christmas, but have you considered, and will you consider again this weekend, the power of one life that was given. That life was the life of Jesus. Jesus came to set people free from their sins. In fact, in Matthew chapter 1, we read, And you will call him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. That's who we celebrate. In fact, we're going to sing it in a different way, but the same meaning as we conclude, O little town of Bethlehem, the hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. That's the power of the life that we celebrate, the life of Jesus Christ, who is born to us. Would you join me in a word of prayer? Lord Jesus, we thank you for your life. We thank you for coming and being among us. We thank you for going to the cross and making a difference for the entire world. And as we celebrate and worship you this Christmas, we pray that the sound of our praise and the sound of our worship would reach many more that it would light up their lives with hope and with forgiveness. And so allow our songs of praise to be heard in every corner of the world this Christmas as we worship you and say to you, happy birthday. Thank you, Jesus, for coming among us. And we anticipate and are looking forward to your return. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great Christmas, everyone.